Greetings, everyone. Uh, we're going to look at full disk AHI RGB air mass images from the Himawari 8 satellite run by the Japanese Meteorological Agency. As you can see, it's running. Um, I suggest you full screen it and try to HD it as best you can. The images that I took might not be HDable. I'm not really sure about that, but this is the best I could do, so I did it. Um, so this runs through once full disk, and you can see the time counting on the bottom. And this, this satellite is new. It's about six months old. It was launched in last year in 2015, weird to say. And it takes a picture every 10 minutes, which if you know anything about ESA and NASA satellites, they take a picture that we get to see about every three hours. So the detail, the resolution on this satellite is amazing because you're getting picture every 10 minutes, like I said, instead of every three hours, like the GOES and the satellites like that. Um, there are three di three full disk products. Um, this is the best one. That, oh, this is the one that I like the best. Um, it also, you know, you get a close-up of Australia, Eastern Russia, Hawaii. They have a tropical, like six tropical bands, which is basically like north of Australia and west yeah, at the equator. Um, they don't have a full disk real-time imagery on the Colorado State, uh, website where I got this from. I'll link to it, obviously. Um, but, so they do have on some of the, the closer, like Samoa, for example, has a, a real-time, not real-time, but a real color image. Or so they say. It looks great. And, like, it's, pick with the picture every 10 minutes, you can really see how the, these clouds, they're just transferring energy that's coming from above, and they're pressing down and fanning out in the atmosphere. Um, I'm going to run this through again, uh, the whole thing through again a second time. This is a month. This is December 4th through January 1st. Um, it's four weeks, so 28 days. This is the longest loop they have available. They just keep 28 days available. And so it'll run through a second time, and I'll zoom in on specific areas of interest that I thought were worth zooming in on. But it's just, you can really see the interplay, how the, the atmosphere really works when you get more than one picture every three hours. I love this stuff, man. I could talk about and look at the weather all day long. I miss my calling in some way. I would have loved to have been involved with weather. Oh. Guess I am right now, right? <laughs> Had I gone to school and become a meteorologist, I'd believe all the crap that they believe. So I'm going to be quiet. Done talking. I'll put music on for this uh, second replay as we approach the 28th. And this is about when the precursors to the, the geomagnetic storm that we're in started. You can see the eastern Pacific got really primed. And then uh, right about now... Like in a, in a couple frames here, it really starts to kick in when the storm actually reached us. And then obviously it's ongoing through the end here. But uh, all right, that's it for me. So enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you.